All right, welcome back. So Photoshop has decided to change something on us and they didn't really put out much information. And I went in to do a save as function to save this as a different file. And what I got was this. I went to my format and I can only pick Photoshop, large item and TIFF. And I'm like, what in the world is that? Definitely not what I wanted. They've changed the way this works. Now it's kind of good because it doesn't let you accidentally overwrite your file. So if I save this file and I made this little teeny tiny file, we'll make this just like 50 pixels, which is definitely not what I want to do. And you can see now it doesn't look like much, but let's say I want to save it that small. And if I came in here and I did the file save as, it will only let me save it as a Photoshop, TIFF, or other file, which is kind of weird. So in this case, I don't want to overwrite my image. And that's the reason I always have done save as. So the way this used to work is you would come in here and do save as. Now it's command shift S or save as. And what this does is it brings up your old dialog box, but now you can only save it as a Photoshop, a large document file or a TIFF. And I'm like, well, where's JPEG? What if I want to save this as a JPEG? That doesn't make any sense. Now, the cool part about this is it's forcing you to rename it, which is what save as implies, meaning you want to save it as something else. That way you do not overwrite your original image with a teeny tiny file like this. If I was to override it, this would be my max size. I would override it. Once it's saved, I can't go back and undo stuff. So now they have this new thing called save as a copy out here. You can either go to save as and then click save as a copy. And then when you do that, you'll notice up here, if we scroll on over, it adds the words copy right here. So we can see there's the word copy. And what that would do is save this as a totally different document. Even though it's still a PSD, it's gonna be a copy of this. Or in this case, now it allows me to go back and use the JPEG files that I want. But I'm gonna hit cancel. Now we also have save as a copy. So this quick key is command option S. Not sure what it is on a PC. It's probably control alt S, but not positive on that. This is something that you'd wanna go ahead and check. Now that we have save as a copy, it brings us into the save as a copy. And once again, it gives us the copy file. And now it will allow us to get in here and save as a JPEG or a PNG or another type of file. If you've used save as before and you could always get to your PNG or your JPEG files as your format, you will now notice that you can't access them directly. So you need to go into save as a copy. So you need to go up there to save as a copy or if you accidentally do the old save as command, which I do a lot, then you need to come out here and click that. So it has a little disclaimer right here that's saying, hey, you need to use save as a copy now for being able to switch and change to JPEG. So it was a little bit confusing after years and years and years of using save as, now I need to use save as a copy quick key instead of the save as command. But that's how you access saving something as a JPEG or a PNG or something other than a Photoshop or TIFF file. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.